what I mean by the 1.2 inch so just here 1.2 inch for those that don't know me 1.2 inch and it is very important so what I'm going to do at this other part remember I took 1.5 inch for my sewing allowance for my back so this is my back this is my 1.5 inch which I mark here so from this my 1.5 inch I'm also going to mark another 1.5 inch I'm going to mark another 1.5 inch at this part so from from here now what I'm going to do now is to mark at six inches or so it depends on the it depends on the waist of the your, your clients which you are working for you can make it 5.5 you can make it six you can make it four you can make it four you can make it five you can make it five or five six it depends on how big your client is and how you want your three band to your three belt hole to sit here so what i'm going to do let me make use of five five inches so from this take note 1.5 is for my sewing allowance another 1.5 is where my one of my belt hole is going to sit then from that part five inches which i have here and another five inches again is going to be at this other part so i have three belt holes which is going to sit here one two and three so i'm still going to repeat the same thing at this other side i'm going to give a mark at 1.5 inch again as this part and i'm also going to give another 1.5 inch for my belt hole where it is going to sit then from there another five inches for the second belt hole then another five inches again for the third belt hole so please, please take note of this then what i'm going to do next after putting that in place i'm going to I'm going to zip up this place together. Take note on what I want to do, please. Take note on this. So after zipping this together, I remember when fixing our zip, I told you to make this equal. So what you are going to do is to use your shock to mark like this. You are going to mark this point about 0 0.5 inch. So you are going to mark 0 0.5 inch. After making it your 0 0.5 inch mark, and if you open it, you have your mark at this point and also at this part for it to be equal so what i'm going to do now is very simple what i'm going to do is to take this piece so definitely i'm going to put this at this other side and i'm not going to allow this place to be rough so what i'm going to do now i'm going to bend this in so i'm going to bend this in by 0 0.5 inch just one so let me go ahead to do that and come back quickly back and back and back and back and back so after doing that what i'm going to do now is i'm going to place it at this my end here Just take note we are working at this other piece where our zip lies not on this one so i'm going to place it, it, it there is two ways on how to do this part but for this tutorial i will do this simple one i want to use a um, button for this i want to use button so i'm going to make button hole at the other part so what i'm going to do now okay this part i'm going to make continue but before that let me continue from where i stop before i confuse you guys so you are going to place this equally at this other part so you can see my 0 0.5 inch which i have my mark here so what i'm going to do now i'm going to sew from this part then when i get to where before this my button hood i'm going to put my band my waist my sorry my belt hood at exactly that point where i have my mark for my belt hole to sit so my for my belt guide or belt hole any any how you know it to be so i'm going to put it at that exact point then i am going to sew from this end and i'm going to when you get to this point make sure you back stitch and come back again so it holds your belt guide then come over to this other part again you place your second belt guide at this point then when you come again, make sure you backstitch, then come back again to so keep this in place very strong. Then you come to this third one, you place another bed guide again. You hold it strong again, then you come to the end. When you come to the end, you turn it upward and you come over to this other part. So for this other part, when sewing, you are going to start your sewing from this end. You are actually going to start your sewing from this end. Then when you sew to that your belt guide, you do the same thing as I showed you then. Do all the way to this end. Then let me go ahead to do it like that and come back to show you on what to do next.
So now I have gone ahead to put some of my plantings and I went on to cut this off. So this was like this. I went on to cut it off. Then I'm also going to do the same for this other part. So make sure you cut it equally with your, with your waistband. <clears throat> so after doing that, I did not just went ahead to put my belt so I was able to place it so I want you guys to know so you don't make mistake. So if you take a closer look, this part is very smooth when it when you look at this part, but when you turn it over, you will see that the, the, this one that climbed this other part is not equally it's not equal with this other one. So for you to Put it like this it will look rough when it shows outside so make sure this smooth part shows outside so what you are going to do is just to fix this side that is rough in so make sure it is facing up like this when it is inside your crop before stitching so make sure it is facing up like this when it's of fish inside when you have put that inside make sure it is facing up then you do that so when it turn over you will have a clean finish when doing that so after doing that, what I'm going to do now for this other piece now, I'm going to fold it like this. I'm going to fold it like this. So you, you can see my crease line which I got after ironing that. You can see my crease line which I got here. So this indicates that this is where your belt, your waistband should stop. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fold it. After my crease line, it's going to sit exactly at that your crease line and make sure this place is smooth. Make sure this place is smooth. Then I'm going to stitch from here down to this end. I'm going to stitch from here down to this end. Take note, you can see what I have here. I fold it in. So just take a closer look. At last, it will be like this. But before getting this, what you're going to do is to bend it in. And you are going to stitch it like this, stitch it from here close. Make sure it is on that's your crease line, it is sitting exactly on that line. So you get a nice finish after doing everything. So you only stitch down to this part. Then I will go ahead to do that later. But before doing that, make sure you are doing it on this part that is sitting like this. This where your zip is sitting like this. So at this other part, this is also crucial. Then once I I'm repeating something you should know that that is very 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 important for you to understand so that is why i keep repeating things but there are some that i don't repeat so make sure you pay close attention so you don't get confused or make any mistake so for this other part what i'm going to do now so you remember the part which we have which we have here where it is going to sit on this other part as i told you to keep an allowance where it is going to sit so make sure you go ahead to fold it at that part and this is where most people most beginners let me say most beginners not professionals most beginners they, they get confused when doing this part and if you make this part wrong believe me your flap will not be straight if you go ahead to sew this like this so you can see what i have here if you make your crease line, make, meeting your crease line and go ahead to sew it, believe me, it will be very bad. It will go wrong. So what you can do to get yours to be neat is that you are going to place this like this. You are going to make sure this part is straight because you are, you are trying to get this part to be neat. This part, which I told you to fold, you are going to make this part to be neat. So what you are going to do now you are going to make sure your flap, when your flap sits after everything, this part is straight. This part is straight. So what I have here now, I have, this, I have made this part to be straight like this. Because after turning everything, your flap is going to be straight. So make sure this part is straight like this. So you can see what I have at this, my band part. So it is not sitting the normal straight that it's supposed to sit. Because if, if this part now sits straight, after doing everything, this or down piece will be wrong pool so there is a there is a way you do this to make everything nice i don't want to hide anything from you as i told you this channel it is beginners friendly i know that beginners might be watching this for the first time so you need to know on how to do this step by step so what i'm doing, going to do now is just to sew this one is also very very necessary for you to you need to calm down when doing this for beginners make sure you have your accurate sewing so you are going to sew, you can see my crease line at this end here. You can see my crease line at this end here. So I'm going to sew a new line. I'm not going to follow this crease line again. 
but I'm going to follow a new line. Make sure it is meeting this crease line at this other part. If it is possible, you can as well turn it to this side to sew. To make sure yours is straight. You can make sure you can go ahead and turn it over like it to sew. But I can sew it like this and still get it because I will know the lines to follow. Make sure you sew straight to meet up this point. So let me go ahead to do that and come back to show you why I said you should do it like this. So as I told you, I have gone ahead to sew it from this part. Make sure you backstitch when you sew. Make sure you go back again. Then you come. Then when it gets to this end, make sure you go back again. Then come. That is backstitching. So this point again, make sure you backstitch. Come to this end, you backstitch to make it fall in place. So after that, what I'm going to do next now, you can see this is my end. I have excesses here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this like this. And then I'm going to cut it out. Make sure you cut it out straight. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Make sure you cut it out straight. For so this is my back part. So take note, this is my back part, which I just cut out now. So what I'm going to do for this front, as I told you, I'm going to cut this like this. Okay. Sorry for the distraction. So cut it like this. Then cut it over. So you can see what I just did there. So I went on to cut it out first i'm going to cut it out like this then i cut it from this part please don't get close to this end when cutting this part you should go in inward so that when you turn in it will sit inside so uh, at this other part what i'm going to do now is to cut it out like this so you should have about 0 0.5 inch at this part then you are going to turn this in like this so you can see how beautiful our band is looking very nice so Turn it in like then at this other part as well they are also going to turn this in like this I'm going to turn this in like this so after doing that you can see why i said you should do it like that this secret is very huge this secret is very huge you don't i don't know if i haven't seen any i haven't seen any trouser video but i don't i don't know sir but I know there are some there are very good people on YouTube. Very, very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. So you can see how smooth this looks like because of what I did here. So just imagine I had sewn this like let me see if I'm able to show you guys this. So you can see that you can see my crease line at this part which I shipped. Just imagine I was able to put this in. To sew it equally, like just imagine me sewing it equally like this. So just see the hell you will go through. You can see, just see the hell you will go through trying to fix this. So you can see because I made this equal, so you can see that it is. It will be very difficult for you to sew. But once you do it exactly the way I showed you on how to do this, you can see how relaxed it is. You can see how like very easy. So. Take a closer look at this part. You can see the shape of how this part gets. So this is very this is very easy for you to do. So just go ahead to do it like this. Then what I am going to do next now is to join my both bags together. So remember I took 1.5 inch for my back before joining my band. So what I am going to do now, I am going to place it equal. I'm going to place it equal like this. Before I do that, before I, is, before I do that, let me cross check my measurements. My waist is 36 divided by 2. Basically, it will give me 20, 18 rather. It will give me 18. So, see, it's my 18 which I have here. It's my 18 which I have here. So, Take note, take note, I forgot to show you something. Before placing your belt hole, make sure you get your, from this part, when it was open, I forgot this. Sorry, I forgot this. Make sure you check from this part, from this part that I pulled, that part, make sure you check from there to here, to get your waist measurement. Before you place your 1.5 inch, then from there you place your, your band. Hope you understand. So definitely, even what I am doing right now is not wrong, but that is the perfect way for you to go about that. About doing that, that's the perfect way. So I can't, I can't, I can't believe this measurement is not correct. 
Let me cross check my measurement. I can't believe my measurement for It's not correct. So my waist is not 36. My waist is um, 34. My waist is 34. So 34 divided by 2 will give me 17. 17. So I am not wrong. I am not wrong. This at exactly that. I wish you can see the smile on my face. I wish you can see the smile on my face. I am not wrong. This at that uh, 1.5, which I showed you guys. Wow. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I will show you guys something else. It's exactly at that my 1.5. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just actually going to sew it like this. So we can continue from where we stopped. That almost distracted my attention. But make sure, the way I showed you, make sure you take your measurement like that before doing this. Don't go ahead to do it straight like this. Make sure you get your measurement, your waist measurement, you get your band. Sometimes it might be bigger, sometimes it might be smaller. So make sure you do that so you don't get confused. Take note of that. So what I'm going to do now, you can see, after I sewed this, my band here together, you can see this line which I have here that differentiates my band from my lower body. So I have the same thing at this other part as well. So what I am going to do now, you can see this my notch which I have at my waist, they are going to match it with this other one there. And make sure your bands are meeting each other. It is the same thing as differentiating this part from this part. It's meeting each other. So definitely your crease line for this your upper part will also meet each other. And what you are going to do, this part which you join your band to your main trouser, you are going to fold it up upward. Please don't take it downward. It will, it will give you a lot of issues if you do that. Make sure it is facing upward. And this other part as well is facing upward. Then what you are going to do, you're going to sew from this part. You are going to sew from this part. Sew it down up to this point. Don't get up to keep about 0 0.7 inch before the end. So you're going to sew from here down to 0 0.7 before, inches before the end. A back stitch again down to this point. Then you complete your sewing straight. Make sure you do that. The way I did for the front, I sewed two lines. So you are going to do the same. When you get to this point, make sure you take it straight to complete your sewing. So let me go ahead to do that and come back. Okay, so I have gone ahead to do that, as I told you, from this part, I sewed down to this part, then I came back again to this end. So that is what I have. So you can take a closer look at this other part as well. So you can see my thread, because I started my stitch from there, so you can see my thread, what's it? Cutting it out. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fold this in. So definitely you can see my crease line machine meeting each other. So you can see that then I'm going to turn it in like this. Okay. So make sure this part, as I told you, make sure this part is facing up like right that so you don't get if you do it wrong, you will see see the result of that. So make sure it is like that. So once you turn this in, so what I'm going to do now, after you can see I opened, I did not turn it in like this. I opened this part, then I turn this in. So after doing that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start my sewing from this part down till the end. But before I do that, make sure this part is also facing up when stitching. Make sure this part is facing up when stitching from this part. And when stitching, make sure your stitch is very close to this line. So the, right, the line that differentiates this part to this part, there is one line you can see there. Just make sure your thread go as close as possible at that line down to this other end. So let me go ahead to do that and come back to you. Okay, so I have gone ahead to sew it right from this end to this other end, as I told you. So I went on to sew it to this end. So after doing that, I went on to stitch my belt guide by zero from this my point which I stitched down to this point is 0 0.5. So I went on to stitch it. If you take a closer look, you can see where my belt guide is coming from. You can see where it stops. After stitching by 0 0.5, that was how I did for all my belt guide. So after doing that, after stitching here by 0 0.5 from this point to this point, 0 0.5. 
what I'm going to do now is to turn this upward and fold. So I'm going to fold this like this. I'm going to fold it like this, as you can see, and I'm going to stitch this up. So when stitching, and make sure your stitch goes about three to four times. When you come, you go back again. You come, you go back again. Then you come. That ensures that this place is very strong. It does not lose just like that. So that aside, then go ahead to turn this in like this then make sure you stitch this as well the same way you did for that other part this is very important so your belt guide sits very strong so go ahead to do your same stitching for all of the rest parts so let me go ahead to do that please if you have come to this length and you are enjoying you enjoy the, the video which i'm showing the tutorial please give this video a thumbs up please i really need your thumbs up for this video to keep pushing the channel so let me go ahead to do that and come back. Okay, but before I go ahead to do that, let me just quickly show you on how to do this. So for this part, you should have about 1.5 inches. Yes, you should have about 1.5 inch or 1.2, 1.5 or 1.2. Go ahead to sew. Starting, you are going to start your sewing from this point. You are going to start your sewing from this point here. Then you are going to end it at where this your sewing stops. So you can see where my sewing stop here. So what you are simply going to do, you might use a chalk to roll this for it to be easier for you in case you don't know how to go about it, for it to be neat. So I will go ahead to sew it straight line, sew it straight all the way to this down there. I give it a call, connecting it to that end. So make sure at this point, point you back stitch to make it sit very tight. And when starting here, make sure you back stitch as well. But please make sure you don't climb your this your iron. There are sometimes you get to this iron. Make sure you don't climb. Make sure you look like it to divert your sewing at that point. So let me go ahead to sew it and end here, and I'll come back to you. So after joining that, make sure everything is neat. Because if you take a close look inside, you will see some. So make sure you shorten this. So at least what you should have from there to here should be 0 0.5 inch. So let me go quickly to. All of that and after doing that so this parts which i sewed from here down to this point as i showed you to give you this call i showed you to give you this call this part which i sewed down to there so you see i did not include this other part when doing that so it was totally like this when i sewed so after i get to that end make sure when you start your back stitch so it tightens your stitch then when you end you also back stitch to tighten your stitch so after that you turn it like this at this point you can as well go ahead to zip it upward and turn it like this then what you are going to do at this part you are going to run a stitch to put this in place so it does not be like this way to stitch it to put it in place so i will go ahead to stitch that then i will go ahead to turn this then let me just do that and come back to you so i have gone ahead to cut all the excesses at this part surrounds it and i went on to stitch this together as i told you went on to stitch it so what we are going to do next is to seal our under part so at this under piece what you are going to do this is where you take your measurement of the width which you want your the, the, the round part to be at this down so what you are going to do is to get your measurement so what i have as my measurement is 13 divided by 2 will give me 6.5 so I'm going to sew this down by 6.5. So definitely I have seven inches here. So 6.5, I'm going to sew this down. I'm going to sew it all the way to this end. And when I get to this end, I will take it finish. I will finish it because there's a space which I kept for, for me to be able to finish my sewing. So I'm going to finish it. Make sure you backstitch when starting and make sure you backstitch when you end. So go ahead to do the same for this other piece. Then after doing the same thing, sewing your 0 0.5 inch, here will be sealed. Then I will turn this over like this and complete my sewing at this other part. So let me go ahead to do that and come back to you. So I have gone ahead to join it as I told you. I joined from this down to this end, did the same for this part. Before I went on to cross this together, as you can see what I have there, went on to cross it to this where my stitch ends. So, I definitely I went on to iron it. 
So there's there was something I did not show you. So that is why it is always advisable to watch video till the end. So if you take a closer look at this part, when sewing my band, I was I make sure I opened this so my band will cross will cross it open like this. There are sometimes if you don't take note of this, it will fall like this and your band will cross it. So make sure it is always like this. So that aside, I will go ahead to open my trouser. Open my trouser. Go ahead to run your your um, button hole. It was what I was doing now. I'm, I'm going to use button. So I I prefer using button hooks because I don't trust the hook. Those hooks, those trouser hooks, I don't trust it. So I prefer using buttons. So I will still show you on how to do that with, with time. Don't worry. This is a promise from me to you. I'm still going to show you on how to do that. But that is somehow. So I, I want to get this easier formula before going to that harder one. So it will be easier for you to understand. Hope you get what I'm trying to say. So what I'm going to do now is to make sure when ironing your trouser, make sure these down parts are meeting each other like this. You can see my lines are meeting each other. So make sure it is like this there. Make sure you arrange it very straight. As you can see what I have there, make sure you arrange it very straight. Then go ahead to press it down. After you press it down, go ahead to fold this in. Depending on your length, on the length of your trouser which you are working with, depending on the length of your trouser which you are working with, go ahead to fold it like this and fold the other one, then you sew it around. So I just want to come to a conclusion of this video which we have been making for these few minutes now. I hope you really enjoy and understand what I just showed you. So if in case you have stayed up to this extent and you have not given this video a thumbs up, please don't leave without giving this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you think or if there's any part you don't understand pretty well i will try my best to show you guys again it's another fabric because this is already done and i'm not going to lose it i'm not going to lose it i i, I can't understand that thread so i will show you guys again on how to do that so this is just it going to fold it depending on your length of your trousers then go ahead to sweat around so thank you once again please subscribe to the channel and share to your friends for them to also come and learn i really appreciate you guys you guys have been my source of inspiration for me to keep posting and shooting new videos every week i really appreciate you guys i love you guys the way you guys love loves me also i know that you love me because i love you too so don't forget to subscribe please please and please don't forget to subscribe i really appreciate you guys so bye stay safe and remain blessed